Hello guys! Um, today I finally started my YouTube channel. Thank you to you guys who wanted me to start one. And I finally did it because my tapestry came in that I hung up like behind me. And um, I did have it set up like over here in my bedroom but I didn't like how it was set up because it was like angled weird. So I moved it upstairs and I finally got that set up. So today I did a Valentine's look since Valentine's Day soon and it's just like a glitter cut crease with paint. So let's get on to the video and hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. Hey guys. Um, so the first thing I start out with is primer. And I'm going to be using the Professional uh, Primer by Benefit. And you just it just helps a lot to keep your foundation on. And it gives your foundation like something to stick to. So I just put that on my forehead. On a crease on my nose. And I just drag it out to the side. Okay. Now on my nose. On my nose down here. And just on my chin. So next, I bought this e.l.f. Um, color correcting palette today at Target. Looks like this. Wait, let me open it up. It looks like this. Okay, that just fell out, but it looks like this. I see people like putting dots under their eyes before they do their foundation. So I'm going to try that. I've never done this before. hope it blends out okay now I'm gonna uh, take the green and also do that but I'm gonna put it like right in the like contour part and then I also do the green on my forehead Yeah. And down my nose. On my chin. Oh, crazy right now, but it looks kind of cool. So, for my foundation, I use um the Fit Me uh poreless. Yeah, matte and poreless and I'm shade 115 um and I just I don't use a brush because it like makes my skin really dry so I use beauty blender and I I just wet a little bit with Mario spray because I don't put it underwater so I pour this all on my hand um and then just this on the brush and oh that looks cool wow it actually blends away this is like the only foundation I've tried really I've I've always just used like BB creams, but this is like a really light foundation. I like it. Um, the blue like really lightens up your eyes. And on some of the packages, it says like what each is made for. Because I know some takes away like redness, but it never said. And I normally don't, I don't normally use this much, but I'm using a lot because I'm trying to blend in these colors. And also, 
I finally got my tapestry. White and gold. I like it. Came in. Also, I'm filming upstairs because I did not like the setting in my room. Like, I had everything set up, but my camera was just, like, at an angle, and I didn't really like it like that. I'm almost done with foundation. Almost, almost, almost. On the eyelids. And I cover up my eyelids with foundation because, like, they're really veiny. And then I also go in with concealer on top of them just to give them a good primer. Um, so, yes, that is my foundation routine. Concealer time. So, I use the um, shape... Shape tape, yeah, I forgot what I was gonna say. I was about to say uh, Fit Me, but it's Shape Tape by Tarte. This is like everyone's favorite concealer. My color is light neutral, and I don't, I wear this on some days, but some days it like makes my, like, I look too light. It doesn't really match me that much sometimes. But I use it like for full coverage, I'm doing like full glam. So I just put this here and I spray this again so it blends in easily and yes um concealer is used to brighten up your eyes and cover darkness And you always make sure you need to, like, you always need to set your concealer because it creases and it doesn't look good. So I do that step next and now I'm doing my eyelids. Next, forehead, nose, this part, and um, chin. Okay, setting time. I do, I always do set, like I always set before I do my brows because, um, yes, I always set before I do my brows because I just want to let it sit while I'm doing everything else for, like, after I'm done with my eyeshadow, if that makes sense. So, um, for baking, which is setting, I use this, like, angled beauty blender. So I can get in the eye pretty good. And this uh, airspun baking powder. It's like really messy. So I just like dump it in here. So it's in the lid and just dip my brush in there. Put it under my eyes. And yeah, you look like a ghost during this. And this also helps to lighten up. But it depends on what color you get. Like, this is, like, the translucent, so it's, like, really white. But they also have darker colors. And this is, like, a really cheap drugstore kind. I put it on my nose. So I don't get oily and on my forehead. Also, here and here. 
I look crazy, but we brush this off eventually. Okay. Next is brows. And I use the um, Cabrow by Benefit. Looks like this. And my shade is 2. I've always wanted to get like um, a brush like the Brow Promade by uh, Anastasia. I want that. I don't know why. It just like would carve it better. And I don't do concealer on my eyebrows because it like makes them look white. So I just fill them in. And also, I've needed to, or I've been needing to get my eyebrows waxed, but guess what? I can't anymore because it literally rips my skin off. Like, it rips it off. It hurts really bad, but I want to try threading, but I can't find it anywhere. So if anyone knows where threading is, please let me know. <laughs> also, when you're filling in your eyebrows with a pencil, you don't want to go like this, which I was just doing. But, or like back and forth, you just want to like glide. Glide over it. Just like that. And like kind of drag the wing out. So it doesn't look like it's just chopped off. And also over here, my eyebrow was cut off because I was trying to trim them and I cut them on accident. So, that's cool. Before I start uh, eyeshadow, I do this so I don't have to touch it, like touch my eye. But I put this like on the waterline of my eyelid. Yeah. And it's just like, a black eyeliner pencil and it just just gives you definition on your lashes and fills in missing gaps okay next I take my favorite um, blending brush ever by Morphe and it's the Y16 it's just like fluffy blending brush and transition shade Using my Jaclyn Hill palette, my favorite palette in the world that I got for Christmas. It has like every color in it. And I take these two colors right here, always as my transition shade, just to put on my eyelid. Just to give a, a little bit color. And sometimes I'll just do this for school, just to give some color. Other eye. I just heard something in that bathroom and I'm pretty scared. <sighs> okay. Now, I'm just going to be taking uh, this color right here. S S B N. I didn't name the names. But these two up here are called Faint and M-F-E-O, and this one that I'm about to use is called S-B-M. I just put this in the, oh my god, there's another noise in there. I should put this, like, angled in the corner, and then I just drag it out. If that makes any sense. And same for the other eye. So now, it looks like this. And always blend, like, blend upward, up to the top, so there's no harsh lines. Um, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to set my eyebrows, so I use Anastasia of Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I just, like, run it through my brows really quick, so they stay all day long. It makes it feel, like, sticky a little bit. But 
it's worth it. This is just what I use like to get in the very corner. And it's just like Morphe, Morphe brush, but it came in a set, so I don't know the number. And I'm not going to be using the Jack and Hill palette anymore. I'm moving on to the Modern Renaissance palette, okay? This, I just use it a lot for, like, pink colors, which will be today since we're doing the Valentine's look. Because Valentine's is, like, not tomorrow, but the next day. So I'm going to take this color. Hmm. No. No. I should take a light pink first. That's what I'm doing. Taking a light pink first, and this is my light pink, pick it right here. This is actually a blush by Benefit, but I use it as my eyeshadow sometimes. Looks like that, and it smells amazing. So I just dip it in there, and going in the crease like that. Up at the top. So like, it will fade lighter up towards the top and it'll give it some more pink so next is this color love letter in the modern renaissance palette and it's going right right in the crease just like that i'm not moving it too much just putting it right there in the crease I'm kind of blending it out Just like that. And also, the reason why this sharp line is here from the baking is because it creates a sharp line and if the eyeshadow falls onto it, it will be like, it will catch it so it doesn't go all over your foundation. And the other eye. Next, I'm taking the same brush and getting this called Red Ochre. This one actually is going in the corner. And I'm taking it in the corner and blending it out towards the lid. So we totally don't have a white lid. Which we're going to end up doing cut crease anyways, but I don't want a white lid. So I'll just take more, put it there. Okay, this one I always use like for browns because it is kind of like pointed, it's Morphe. But again, came in a set so I don't know the name or the number or whatever. So I'm taking um, Surface Umber and putting it right in the corner just to give it a depth effect like it has more depth to it I'm, bl I'm blending it a little so it's not like so like stiff in the corner and the next eye so I'm just taking a different blending brush that's not dirty and just blending it blending so there's no harsh lines so I don't know what the deal of that is got to figure that out and now I take the brush that came with this palette and I use always use this for under eyes it's like flat and I'll just take this pink color, put it under my eye. And now taking um, surface umber, putting it in the corner of my under eye. Just to darken it. There. Now, cut crease time. 
So for my cut crease, I use a slanted, it's made for eyeliner, but I use it as this. Uh, and I use my shape tape as my cut crease concealer and I just get get it on the brush. Dab a little off of my hand because I don't want it to like smear. Okay, now I have to get really close for this. You know what? I'm using this. That's a smart idea. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's really smart actually. Okay, it looks like a mess right now because I haven't cleaned it up yet. And I'll go over the directions for the cut crease. Since I couldn't talk while I was doing it because I was focusing, but you just take this and like carve out your whole eye, but don't go all the way to the end, just the center. Just carve out your whole eye and just fill it in. But it looks messy right now because I haven't cleaned it up yet. But I'm going to take a little more concealer and just go like go over it again so it is more pigmented okay that is that and well that's drawing. I'll wipe off my brush because it has product on it. And I'll get the same brush and does that have glitter on it? No. So I'll take this temper color and the modern Renaissance palette just to go over go over it and like make sure it is matte. And set. Okay. Now that looks like that, we take here it is. It's just like a brush like that, so I can get in the creases. And I'll take this, the pink love letter color, brush, like tap it off a little bit so it's not like so heavy. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just going over the edges so it. They're soft. And they don't look like a mess. Okay. Time for glitter. So now I take a flat, flat brush and my NYX glitter primer. And I just put that right on the brush. And this glitter primer like helps the glitter stay on. And the glitter primer just goes right on top of the cut crease. Just right on top.
Okay. And it burns. Yeah. It's burning me. Oh, I'm leaving this on so that when the glitter falls, it will catch it. But. No, that's not what I use. I want to use this one. The NYX glitter. that I, I got it today, actually, at Target. I have one like this, but it, like, sticks to my eyes. I dumped it into the lid. And. Hopefully, the glue didn't already dry. Oh, this is pretty. It's not as pigmented as I thought it'd be. It's a really pretty glitter though. It has like all the different colors in it. That's pretty. If y'all can see it. Okay, doing the same for the other eye. What I should have done was put glitter, like a glitter eyeshadow on before I did this so it would be more pigmented. Maybe it's time to get my glitter, or my Stilla, my Stilla's out. So I'm getting my still glitter, I don't know, oh it's called Diamond Dust. I'm just gonna go over it. Maybe it will look better, maybe it won't because now this is just hard to fix. Maybe it just looks like this. Okay, that looks that looks a little better, right? Yeah. It does. Yeah, hopefully my eyelashes will get on. Well first I'm just gonna brush this away. All this white powder brushing off. This looks actually it doesn't look that bad. Like my eyeshadow doesn't look that bad. Before I forget, I'm gonna have to put um, inner corner highlight on. So I take the Vermeer and put it on. In the inner corner. Cute. That looks good. Right now I'm putting lash glue on my lashes. This is my least favorite part. Eyelashes just like complete the look. They just do. Like. See, they look totally different. They totally look like different eyelashes from each other. I'm back. My lashes are on and I have tears down my face. But let me just um, clean that up really quickly. Alrighty, bottom eyelash time. So I just use the tardiest, um, tardiest mascara. Actually, I think it might be called Man Eater. That's kind of weird, but that might be the name of it. I think it is though. This goes on the bottom. So I'm going in with, 
eyeliner to make them look like Okay, so that is done. Next is bronzer time. So my favorite bronzer is Kat Von D Shade and Light. And I use, like this is what it looks like. And this one's called Subconscious. So I use that one. And go in. Warming up the cheeks is what everyone says. Okay, that looks good. So now is blush time. So I use, oh, by the way, what I use for Bronzer was slant, like this slanted brush by Morphe, and this one is just a blush brush. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna contour or bronze my forehead too, just to give it some color. I use Milani, just drugstore, and apples of the cheeks, just like this. This is what I use for highlight. It's by Real Techniques and it's pink. I use Sugar Glow by Anastasia. Anastasia, it's called Anastasia. 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 It looks like this, and I just use all the colors, all of them, and there's glitter everywhere. I wonder if this shows. That looks pretty. Other side. On my nose. Up here. Cupid's bow and my chin. Melted Matte by Too Faced. Um, it's called Sellout. I think I'm going to use that. Okay, I did it. Lipstick's like so hard to apply to me, but I just like to take my finger and like dab it on top of my lipstick. I don't know, it looks like pretty. Just like that. And spray, this spray. Okay, now I am done. And that is it for this video today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I love you guys all. Goodbye.